Now, one Tuscaloosa man traveled to the next state of Tennessee to get the perfect view. WBUA 23's Molly Catherine Wash joins us live tonight from our newsroom with more. Molly. Well, Jabari J. Waters traveled over 200 miles to view the solar eclipse, and for him, it was well worth it. Sweetwater, Tennessee was the place to be to get the ultimate view of a once-in-a-lifetime astronomical experience, Monday's solar eclipse. Sweetwater is just north of the line of totality where you can see 100% of the eclipse or, in other words, a total eclipse, whereas West Alabama simply saw a partial eclipse. The eclipse in Sweetwater lasted for 2 minutes and 37 seconds, and Jay Waters got to enjoy the experience in downtown Sweetwater with people from all over the country. It was, it was like a tailgating experience in a lot of ways. It was um, uh, people, um, a lot like it being on the quad. There were people with tents and things like that. Not that many tents, but people out waiting for it. Uh, we sat with um, people parked next to us were from Brooklyn, and they had um, come down. Uh, to see it, see it, and there were, I saw tags from Minnesota, from Michigan, from Maryland, uh, New York, um, all over. Back here in Tuscaloosa, people camped out in front yards and parks to get the best view that they could. Two University of Alabama seniors dedicated their entire day to experiencing it for themselves. It just felt really special. It felt like a really unique experience. Um, I talked a lot about my parents. They remember when they watched it uh, when they were younger, and it just felt really cool that I've never seen it in my lifetime, and so I got to actually experience something like that with my parents and with my best friend, and it felt really special. Many people were hoping the eclipse would be a symbol of peace and unity for the world. Alabama senior Amy Shell found a personal sense of peace in the viewing of the eclipse. Um, it was peaceful. It was just, I felt really at peace with myself and it was, it was nice. Yeah. It was definitely relaxing. I enjoyed it, yeah. yeah. I, just, I felt very, like, in my element. The next partial solar eclipse will be April 8th, 2024. Live in the newsroom tonight, Molly Catherine Walsh, WVUA 23 News.